Virginia plan and how they were similar and how they were different. So the first thing you need to know is that the Virginia plan's proposal was to create a bicameral house, which was two different houses for Congress, which was well accepted, but they also wanted a proportional representation. Now that was what made it very different and very controversial. This was created by William Patterson. They wanted to have the number, like a percentage, like a percentage to the amount of people in a state that they had for um, representatives, you know? So like a state with more population has more representatives compared to like a smaller state. Well, some people were afraid about the um, bigger states having more power over a certain decision than the smaller states did. This came the New Jersey plan. They wanted one house an equal representation. Congress would also have increased powers like to levy duties and stamp tax, regulate trade, make treaties, the Supreme Fall of the land. They had a lot of power. The people didn't have as much power. They believed that they spoke for the states themselves, not the people. Okay, so this this also caused some problems because they thought that, well, that wasn't very fair. Um, so the New Jersey plan had failed and so did the Virginia. Um, neither side wanted to compromise, but they decided that they were going to create a committee. Um, this was going to have one delegate from each state. It was like this special committee, which was later called the Great Compromise. So they did end up compromising. Um, they ended up with a two house and one of them had proportional representation while the other one had equal representation. The House of Rep Re Representatives had the power to develop bills and taxes and government spending and that was the one that had proportional representation. This was probably because bigger states with more population were going to be more affected by taxes than some of the smaller states so they got that power. Um, but. The Great Compromise was commit was adopted by Roger Ch Roger Sherman and Oliver Ellsworth, which they actually proposed this kind of idea before it was cool to make this compromise. They were the original founders of it, and then they decided on it. They were like, "Oh, this guy is kind of cool. 